Welcome, have a nice day. Today is Friday 8th of September 2023. This day is celebrated as National International Literacy Day, ILD. It is observed on 8th of September every year. This International Observance Day serves as a global reminder of the critical significance of the literacy as a fundamental human right. This day aims to promote literacy efforts and contribute to the development of more enlightened and sustainable societies. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO plays a central role in organizing ILD International um, Literacy Day celebrations which take place in at a global, regional, national and community level worldwide. International Literacy Day 2023 uh, has the theme that the purpose of this day is to emphasize the value of literacy to people, communities and society uh, as a literacy is the path uh, to a well educated and efficient society. Starting the newspaper analysis with the newspaper, the Hindu states that African Union to join G20 as a share fast reach a deal. Indian officials said uh, the announcement would help leave a lasting imprint, imprint of the work uh, the Indian presidency has done in bringing in the global south's ambitions uh, to the economic grouping. An illustration installation at Delhi Gate in New Delhi on September 7, 2023, ahead of the G20 summit to be held from September 9 to 10. The Hindu newspaper also stated that Modi Biden uh, to discuss trade issues jet engine thrown dealers uh, during a meet. High technology cooperation under the initiative on critical and emerging technology will be also be reviewed following up on the announcement from the Mr. Modi's state at a visit to Washington DC in June. Students give final touch to painting of Prime Minister and Modi and a United States President Joe Biden at an art school in Mumbai on September 7, 2023, ahead of the two-day G20 summit in New Delhi. The Hindu newspaper also stated that high hopes for climate and uh, energy outcomes uh, at summit uh, as India takes lead of municipal workers clean a sidewalk near a billboard uh, featuring Prime Minister Narendra Modi ahead of this week's summit of the group of 20 nations in New Delhi on September 7, 2023. Going towards the uh, Indian Express newspaper stated that Central Empowered Committee as Supreme Court hands over its Green Watchdog Committee to Environment Ministry. The Environment Ministry notified the new order on September 5 after the Supreme Court uh, permitted uh, the movie in the interest of all the stakeholders. Most recently, the CEC's recommendation to cancel uh, the double tracking of railway line from Castle Rock in the Karnataka to Kuliam in Goa was accepted by Supreme Court this May. Indian Express also states that China on mine. Prime Minister says laws apply to all uh, in Indo-Pacific flags territorial integrity. Speaking at the East Asia Summit in the Indonesian capital Jakarta, Modi retreated uh, sorry that um, today's era is not uh, of war and dialogue and diplomacy form the only path to resolution. A theme he has advocated uh, for the end. end to the war in Ukraine ever since its invasion by Russia in February 2022. Apart from the ASEAN Association of Southeast Asian Nations, member states and the East Asia Summit includes India, China, Japan and Republic of Korea, Australia, New Zealand and the United States and Russia. Indian Express also stated that Prime Minister Modi at a host dinner for the United States President Biden this evening range of issues on the table. This is Biden's first visit to India as the United President. United States President three months after Modi was the, in the United States on a state visit. The United uh, this last United States President to visit India was Donald Trump in February 2020. Prime Minister neither Modi with the United States President Joe Biden. Going towards the Hindustan Times newspaper, stated that bipolar results for seven assembly seats today all eyes on INDIA versus NDA five top updates. Oppositions are uh, India National Development Inclusive Alliance INDIA leaders during uh, a press conference after the bloc leaders meeting in Mumbai. 
seen as a major electoral uh, test for the opposition as India's National Developmental Inclusive Alliance or India against the Bharatiya Janata Party uh, led a National Democratic Alliance ha- ahead of the assembly polls in five states later this year and the uh, 2024 Lok Sabha elections. The result is for a by polls to seven assembly seats in six states will be declared on Friday. The counting of votes will begin at 8 a.m. At the centers set up in the respective states. You know, sometimes also states that a part of the special session is likely to be held in the new parliament building. Lok Sabha officials uh, said the new building is fully prepared for hosting the special session, the agenda for which is yet to be discussed by the union government. The five-day special session of a parliament that has been scheduled from September 18 to 2022 is likely to be a partly held in the new parliament building, said people familiar with the matter. While the first day of the session will be held in the old building, the remaining part of the session will be held in the new building that was inaugurated by the Prime Minister Mr. Modi on May 28. United States President Joe Biden leaves for India to attend the G20 summit. United States President Joe Biden on Thursday left for the India to participate in the historic G20 summit in New Delhi uh, to be cheered by a Prime Minister Modi. President Joe Biden arrives to a board of Air Force One of our trip to attend the G20 summit in New Delhi on Thursday, September 7, 2023. That was yesterday. Going towards the economy of the country, the Reserve Bank of India resisted government push for Rs 3 lakh crore transfer in 2018 ahead of elections viral Acharya. Reserve Bank of India former Deputy Governor viral Acharya. Stock markets extend gains for the fifth day. Sensex revisits uh, 66,000 mark. Stock brokers watch the markets uh, at a brokerage uh, in Kolkata. State Bank of India unveils national uh, first transit card for digital fare payments. State Bank of India Chairman uh, Dinesh Kumar Khara speaks at the Global Fintech uh, Fest in Mumbai on Wednesday. Coin orders the world news including uh, is Vietnam's e-car marker hitting the brakes in Europe? Well, the Russian with the Kremlin tries get nine years in prison for hacking an insider trading scheme. Backlash in China against draft law banning uh, items uh, that harm a national spirit. Australia and China opened the first high-level dialogue in three years uh, in a sign of slight thaw. Australian minister says invasive examinations were part of the reason Qatar Airways uh, was refused flights. After two years of the post-Brexit uh, standoff, Britain rejoins the European Union's Horizon Science program. Going towards the science and technology, providing support to the women dealing with the unbearable pain of vaginism. Women may be dealing with the pain in silence without access to the community and a care. Racing for Moon Real Estate Chandrayaan 3 is landing. It is, uh, is motivating uh, Indians to buy land on the moon. The northern plains of India is the most polluted region. A layer of smog uh, engulfs the uh, path in Delhi due to the poor air quality. Microsoft says compromised an engineer's account to Chinese hack of United States officials. Microsoft said it has fixed the flaws uh, that will lead to Kiki being uh, accessible. At last, there's a famous quotation said by uh, Malala Room, whose full name is Jalaluddin. The greatest uh, mystical poet of any age was born at Palk in 1207 AD. And was an uh, illustrious uh, descent. His mother was a pop, uh, princely house. His father, Bahuddin Walid, was a descent of the Caliph Abu Bakr. Caliph Abu Bakr. And excited the jealousy of the Sultan, who made it unpleasant for him that the, he left the city, taking with him his family, the youngest of whom was Jalaluddin, then five years old, at Nashpur, and they met the Sufi Saint Attar, who predicted the child's future greatness. He would, he, he would, he said, 
kindle the fire of a divine youth enthusiasm throughout the world. For even as a child, Rumi had visions and religious ascetics. Ecstasis. Sorry. Now, Rumi says a famous quotation. He says that yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. Okay, thank you.